Hi there, and welcome to the Church of St. Michael and All Angels in Edmundthorpe, Leicestershire. This West Tower is in three stages, has two chamfered string courses, four gargoyles, a crenated parapet with four pinnacles and a pyramidal roof with a weathercock. Now, this church is held by the Church's Conservation Trust, which means it's no longer used as a place of holy ritual, but has become redundant in its parish use. The Church's Conservation Trust is an estate with the largest collection of historic churches in the country and they perform an absolutely outstanding job. As you'll see when we get inside, the atmosphere is completely unlike other churches in that you have a sense that it is not used on a weekly basis for praise or for services such as weddings, baptisms and so on. There is, dare I say, a mustiness in the air because of its infrequent use. But this only adds to the magical quality of the interior. The Church of St. Michael and All Angels is a medieval church with this battlemented tower. The lower sections of the tower are original 13th century work, while the top part is 15th century. A tubular column on the exterior of the tower shows the location of a spiral stair rising to the bell chamber, which dates from the 1200s. Above this is a 15th century upper part where the stone changes. Here, the northern arcade seems older than the southern. In the north aisle is a finely moulded tomb recess. The clerestory or clear story is basically from a perpendicular period, whereas the rest of the church is mainly from the decorated period. Here we have two large 19th century oil paintings, often known as hatchments. They are a coat of arms on a lozenge-shaped frame. It was hung for some months in front of a house of the deceased person and then brought into the church and hung on the wall. This word, resurgum, often occurs, saying, I will rise again. As you can see here, the background is either completely black or half black and half white, according to the married state of the deceased person. If a married man died before his wife, the left side, as you can see, is black and the right side white. However, 
if a married woman had died before her husband, the left side would be white and the right side black. Looks like we've got a pair of widows here. set against the east wall of the south aisle in this fine medieval parish church is the first of the monuments to the Smith family who held the manor. This monument to Sir Roger Smith, his two wives, his son and his grandson was erected in 1658, three years after his death in 1655. Sir Roger's first wife was Jane Heron. She is in the middle. His second, Anne Goodman, who died in 1652, is represented by the lower effigy. Both son and grandson were Edwards. The monument was created mainly from alabaster and although we have three semi-recumbent effigies and two excellent demi effigies here they were comprised of over 100 individual alabaster elements the lower recumbent effigy is that of dame anne smith who died in 1652 according to local legend she was a witch who had the power to turn herself into a cat. Quoting from a 1988 guidebook, on one occasion when she performed the transformation, the butler at the hall struck at her with a cleaver. She was wounded in the paw and blood spilled out onto the kitchen flagstone. Upon returning to her human self once again, she bore the wound mark on her wrist and this is said to be reflected in the dark stain and crack in the alabaster of the wrist of her effigy. One other point to note, not immediately obvious from looking at it today, is that the monument at one time had a black shadow painted on the wall around it. This magnificent screen is from the perpendicular period, tall, with single light divisions in it. The chancel windows are of the same date as the rest of the church.
Here is the monument to the Reverend Peter Boundy and his wife with Latin, Hebrew, Greek and English inscriptions. You can see he had eight sons and six daughters. But the weird thing is, it was created when he was still alive. And if you look at the bottom, it says he died, she died, aged, nothing. It was never filled in. The Church of St. Michael and All Angels in Edmundthorpe, Leicestershire. 